Here's a camp gadget. All you're gonna need is gonna be a one gallon jug and a golf tee. Here's the supplies you're gonna need. Three poles for your tripod lashing. The manila rope I actually like to use because it doesn't slip. A pair of hose, or I actually like the knee highs. If you can find those, you're only gonna need one. And then obviously bar of soap. Knife, just in case you need to cut your rope and it's too long or whatever. And then a gallon empty jug. And the cool part, kids are gonna love this. This is why they like it so much. It's just, it's just fun. You're gonna use a golf tee. And of course, don't go buy a pack. Just find somebody who plays golf. They'll be happy to give you one. And you do not need it this long. They're usually about an inch and a half, two inches. I like to keep my golf tee in there just so I know where it is for the next time. All right, let's get going. These are all pretty much the same length, but they recommend at the end that those be even than this top part, because this top part doesn't matter. You want to be able to have your tripod even. And since I don't have a buddy, I'm gonna put these on it, make it a lot easier to lash. Again, a tripod lash or pole lashing, you start with a clove hitch. Start on one of the outside poles, is all you're gonna do is you're gonna make an X. I'm gonna do it this way. X. When you come under, you're gonna follow the other one that's underneath that top. Okay, there's your clove hitch. Just wrap a minimum of three times. Now the fun part is trying to get your rope in between these things. Someone showed me, and of course possibly showed me wrong, when they lashed, they would go under and over, and then come back and go over and under. The book, we follow the book, which is a fantastic resource for just about anything. Um, I'm just gonna follow the book. So now you start your frapping, which go in between one of these. I don't know if I said it, but I started with about eight, seven to eight feet. I go way down here at the end. One more time. Try and pull as, as tight as you can. Okay. Now, you just do another clove hitch. Clove hitch is for uh, square lashings, pole lashings, and the only time you use a timber hitch is for your diagonal lashing. Remember, this comes under and it's gonna match the one that's going under the top one. So it goes this way. Timber, come back here. Get it as close to your lashing. And that's it. So let's stand this one up and see how it folds out. All right. Okay. Maybe it must have worked against me. There we go. Much better. Okay, ready for a hand washing station. All right, so this is for the jug, the rope. We're gonna come over to a taut line, start with a loop. Two on the inside, one, two, come down, and then go under through this loop, and tighten all three of these, and that's your taut line. 
and it slips however long you want to make it. Okay, now we're going to get our jug. So you take it through the handle and I just do a square knot right over left, left over right. go. Of course any soap will do. Stuff it in your sock stocking. All right just because of the weight of this it is obviously going to stretch. I would not tie it to the jug because you're gonna have to take the jug off and keep refilling it. So find some place up here and just tie it off or you can get another rope and tie it. Um, but you'll want to do a square knot because this gets wet and it gets heavier. So I would actually take this extra rope I've got and just make a knot on this and then another knot on the rope. I mean that's going to stay but you never know. Doesn't hurt. Okay, now for the fun part. It's the golf tee, and is all you do is you're gonna poke it. And that's it, okay. Scouts are gonna come, pull this out, wash their hands, get some soap on it, maybe plug it up, warn them that uh, don't waste too much. You know, lather up their hands. Wash, pull it out, rinse. Now they might start seeing it drip like this. They just need to release the valve. There it comes. Okay, make sure you have a really good, this has been in the garage for a long time, so it's got a little crack. <laughs> but get you a fresh gallon. And there you go. Got your wash station. This hand washing station would meet requirement first class 3D. Use lashings to make a useful camp gadget or structure. Each patrol could make their own. When it's time to eat, a scout is clean.